what's up, you hate gang? Hey, what's up, Candle Mando Squad? You know what a Chad is? Yeah, I know what a Chad is. Yeah. You know what a Normie is? Normie is the middle ground between person? Chad and Incel. And you know what a sub five is? A sub five is a person who's under a five out of ten. Today we're gonna be figuring out if we're sub fives, normies, or chads. Is this some kind of like Test? quiz thing? Hello five? and welcome. Hello. If you're or a regular viewer. What the fuck oh, is this? I, I wanna be a sub five. You don't even want to be a sub five. <laughs> so there's gonna be people that like overanalyze dating for men. But I gotta say, like, if I were to date any one of these guys, you're gonna be the chads. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's true. <laughs> They're looking pretty aesthetic right now. Hello and welcome. If you're a regular viewer of this channel, you might often hear me use the term sub five, normie, or chad to categorize men. Is this real? Is he literally helps you break down whether or not you're a sub five, normie, or chad. <laughs> okay. It can be viewed as offensive to some people, but if he's giving advice, if you're that category, I think it's not bad. Also, the problem is, why is there only white people here, man? I'm going to show you how to know which category you're in, in as plain and as simple terms as possible. The best and most consistent way to know which category you fall into is to simply observe how women treat you. You do not need to watch my videos analyzing attractive facial features. This is a fucking mathematical diagram, bro. I found this works so well that I could tell you which category a man falls into without even looking at his face. So let's dissect this a little further. Well, the two simplest ways to break this down is to look at women's emotions and their body language. This reminds me of those, those uh, pick, pick up things. Yo, I'll tell you right now, I'm a fucking sub five, bro. Next time you're out and you lock eyes with any woman for a couple seconds, memorize the facial expression she had, it will likely fall into one of the following. <laughs> So you look at a girl and then she just immediately she guess. So let's say that the woman gives you this face. <laughs> I can't think serious. Based on this expression alone, what category, sub five, normie, or Chad, will you likely fall into? Chad, for sure. So this is sub five. I'm kidding. Oh, I couldn't tell. Is it because you think you're a Chad, but you've been getting this look? <laughs> Okay, you have a confused This basically means you're a sub five. If a woman's initial reaction to your face is one of disgust, then chances are you're a sub five. Likewise, the same <laughs> Likewise, goes with this face. With this. this to me, talking from her perspective, is saying, oh God, no, he saw me looking at him. Oh, oh. oh. If she makes this face, you're a sub five. I've... I'm not gonna lie, yeah, I've kind of. <laughs> <laughs> Yo. He's not Chad, right? He thought it was Chad. You thought it was Chad? I thought it was Chad. No, I thought, I thought this was. Oh my god, did you see that guy? Yeah. I didn't think it was like a. Oh my god, he's a sub five. If you're constantly receiving this expression, you're a sub five. If a woman's reaction looks like this, she's saying, What gives you the right to look at me? Stop staring at me, you loser. Go away, get lost. Lastly, and I pray for those who get this facial expression, if it is one of anger, rage, fury, then this will also mean you are a sub five. He's so, like, scientific about yeah. this. I don't know if this is real or not. I'm now going to show you a clip from the dating show and what I want you to focus on is the women's facial expressions and make a prediction on what you think will happen. Oh, is she getting wet? She getting wet? No, 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 no she's no. not. She's a, she's a edit, 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 no. edit. no, she said, oh no, my god. No. He's a five. He's a five. He's a five. Oh, is this, is this, Wait, yo, whoa. <laughs> we might actually be sub fives. Yo, I wish I yo. haven't seen this video. Categorize it sub five, normie, or Chad. I did not think he was a bad looking guy. No, I thought he was a good looking guy to start. Is it fair to say that maybe the woman made those shell brushes? First of all, what you're doing is mansplaining. <laughs> Second of all, what you're doing is looking at it through the male gaze. I think what made him sub five was his actions. actions. Correct. He started doing like this. Yeah. You know, if a Chad did that same thing, would it be cool? <laughs> I just don't think a Chad would do that in the first place. So a normie will usually get some neutral reaction. She won't get disgusted at you looking at her face. You might also get a friendly smile, but it won't be very enthusiastic. It just looks like a Chad what? face to me. Wait, she's, she's gonna get this? <laughs> she's gonna get this. Oh, look at this, right? Should we show you guys? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's gonna get it, right? Yeah. I'm curious what he's gonna put for Chad. Is this? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, oh, like it's, wait, it's yeah, yeah, yeah. If she's very happy, she's smiling with intense joy, she's inviting, then this is a very good indicator that she finds you attractive. If you get this kind of facial expression, only Chaz will receive an initial <laughs> reaction like this. Lastly, if she pulls a funny face and- What the <laughs> fuck? Does this even make any sense? I'm gonna look at a girl, I should give you this. If you look at a girl and you're a Chad, and the girl like kind of like shyly looks away, doesn't that mean you're, you're a Chad as well? Edward, I'm gonna say right now, you're a sub five trying to mistake <laughs> yourself for a Chad. Let me tell you, this is not exactly correct, man. Like, I guess maybe she's a guess. Edward, that's no. not, that's a sub five. Edward, if she looks at you and looks away and looks at you again, clearly you haven't watched the video, bro. <laughs> yeah, that's not a sub five. Yeah, yo, it's it's okay. Bro. It's not about being a sub five, bro. Yeah. Now let's have a look at another clip from Take Me Out. That's a chat, that's a chat. Oh yo, 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 I'm not gonna lie, you know, you're right. For all intents and purposes, the first guy and Tyler did the same thing. But they were just. <laughs> Tyler's a chat. At the same time, I've never seen a girl do this. <laughs> okay, let me tell you something. They were wet. There's this here. Wet. 
Yeah. That face. See? It's the sub five look. It's okay. It's okay. It's the sub five look right there. So now we're taking a look at the emotional side. We're now going to be taking a look at the body language a woman will show. A clear tell to show that you're a sub five with regard to body language is that women will want to avoid physical contact with you as much as possible. Oh, I saw this. I've seen this clip. The story of this clip <laughs> is he met this girl online and they haven't right. met in person ever. Right. And this is the first time meeting in two years. Are they dating? Yeah, they're dating. And then she saw him in person and she did this. <laughs> so if these things frequently happen to you in your interactions with women, then there's a strong chance that you're a sub five. So just a really quick example, if 80% of the time you're getting these things and another 20% of the time you're getting other things, the evidence that you have at hand is pointing towards pointing you being sub-5. Yo, bro, this is so guy. funny. It's, it's so serious. scientific. He's like, guys, under these criteria, under this probability chance, 80-20%, likely you're a sub-5. He's dead ass serious. If you were a sub-5 and you walk around life, it's a pretty good way to look at the world. Sean, you realize you might be a sub-5. <laughs> <laughs> Meanwhile, the opposite goes for chads, where the common theme is that women will make excuses to touch you. Here's an example from one of my own experiences, which to this day still sticks in my mind as being a very blackpilling moment of my life. Black it's a black pill. It's like a red pill, but even more I don't know. Me and a couple friends were around my house just having a low-key meetup, and these two friends had never met each other before. They were both friends of mine and were meeting each other for the first time. And friend one, she was a girl. She was about a 7 out of 10 in looks. She would be what you call a Stacy Light. <laughs> <laughs> what the? Wait, wait, you know when you like have a program like the Kerama Group of Light, the, the, the sub version, right? The new version. <laughs> and then friend two, he was also about a seven. He falls into that Chad Light territory. Chad Light is between a normie and a Chad. If you're a seven, you're a Chad Light. I mean, I can be a Chad Light, right? Come on, come on guys, yo, we're, I think we're all Chad Lights, okay? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I think I'm like an upper normie or a Chad Light. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. Upper normie. Chad. I, wanna, I wanna give myself a fucking sub all five. You do, all bro. you do, you're putting yourself in the exact position where you don't sound egotistical. Yeah, yeah. At the same time, you don't roast yourself, right? Yeah. So we were just around my house, and after a while, we get a bit bored and we go outside to the park to have a bit of a kick around. So now we're outside playing football and we're just passing it about between each other. So no more than about 15 minutes after we started playing, the girl, the Stacy Light, out of nowhere, decided to just push into the Chad Light. And you might not think that this is significant at all, but the fact that they started going out just one week later shows that it did mean something. And bearing in mind that these two people were meeting each other for the first time, and I was there watching the whole time all three of us were together. He didn't have a lot of so-called game, and in fact, I would say throughout the interaction, I actually had better game than him. However, the man was over six foot. <laughs> This is the most technical breakdown. No, I'll be honest with you, this guy sounds a little bit bitter. The guy who made this video sounds a little bit bitter. The fact that he brought me, he's over six foot. Yeah, yeah, he was like, I got more laughs. Like, he was counting laughs and stuff. <laughs> you, know, you can tell, like, he sounds a little bit bitter. So the takeaway for me after that day, it did make me question the things that women are attracted to. Anyway, moving on to the last point about body language. And this applies to chads and only chads. And that is that women will do various things that either accentuate their beauty or femininity. So this might be things such as pushing their hips or chest out as it makes their feminine features more prominent or frequently adjusting or brushing her hair or caressing her face. True, so, this true. Is true, that's true. Hair is true. Hair is very true. true. But I don't see a girl like this. <laughs> pushing hips and chest, though, like, that's like you're sitting cross to cross, like face to face in like a, a dinner or something. You'll know when they like sit up straight, like kind of like, chest out. Yeah, you, you, you can't get a read of body language. I, you can I, also I read wonder... facial expression. For example, if you go out with a girl and you're talking to her, let's say you go on a date and she's holding eye contact, Pretty much she means like she's comfortable with looking you in the eyes. Whereas if it's like you go out with an ugly girl and then you like look her in the eye, you are uncomfortable looking her in the eye, right? What it is is if you go with a girl that you're not attracted to, fine, 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 fine. You sound better than me, okay? <laughs> when I have to say ugly, you guys say not attracted to. We mean the same thing. Guys, we mean the same thing. <laughs> you just say no, that and it no. sounds so much better than what I no, say. Because no, 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 no. comments are gonna be like, Mike is so shallow, I don't yeah, so You're worried of giving her the wrong sign that you actually wanna date her when you actually don't want to date the girl you're not attracted to, right? What? No, I'm saying, when yeah, you go to an unattractive look. girl that you're not attracted to and you're sitting across her, you definitely make less eye contact because you don't want to give her the wrong signal. It's not that, like, they're so unattractive that yeah, you can't yeah, look yeah, at yeah, them. Yeah, it's no, more not. so, like, since you don't want anything with them in the first place, right. you just don't want to give that signal that and I feel like do want it something. happens the other way around. If all the subchats out there, it's not subchats, it's sub, sub five. five. It's a, get, take a chad, 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 chad light. light, take a normie, normie, normie light, take a sub five, sub five, and What's up, my blade? Giga Sapphire is a pretty cool name. And this is where I'm going to come to the main point of my video. And that is, it doesn't matter what you say. It doesn't matter how attractive you think you are. In fact, it doesn't matter what women say either. And on top of all of this, it doesn't matter what I say either. These are all things that do not matter. So the point of my video is, the only thing that matters is how women treat you. The micro expressions that they show, which a lot of the time are being made subconsciously, that are indicative of either attraction or repulsion. And all of this can be seen through their emotions, and body language from when they're interacting with you. This is true, but 100%. one thing that he doesn't 
specify in this that sub five, whether you're at your sub five or Chad, it's an equation of your looks plus your personality. Let's say you're like a sub five and you're like five, right? But you have like a giga Chad personality. You might be a, you might be a yeah. Chad light. I know a good amount of objectively sub five looking guys who are dating very attractive women. And it's not because of the fact that they have a lot of money. Yeah, I, yeah, I, I, the I, confidence. I, I, yeah, yeah, the confidence. No, confidence and per yeah, confidence personality. Only, they have a like yeah. giga Chad. Yeah. Confidence yeah. personality yeah. that makes up for maybe some of their sub five facial features or height. I mean, yeah, we're sub five. <laughs> yeah, I have, <laughs> I have also heard. I mean, for example, Sandy has told me like I'm. I showed her Zac Efron before, before like this jaw action yeah. or whatever. I showed her, and she's actually not into Zac Efron. She prefers like. Benedict Cumberbatch. No, he got so, some giga chat of it. No, he's a normie. He's bro. objectively look wise, he's, he's not. A no, he's yeah, a normie. Yeah. He's a straight up normie. This is why you don't take Wait, it to watch Doctor Strange. I, I, I'm, you're literally saying the only reason why we have girlfriends as us all fives is because we're slightly <laughs> famous. It's actually what he's saying. He's saying famous is a big thing. It's the only reason why. Yeah. No, guys, no, it's not. It's yeah. not. I rated this man, James Tusk. I gave him an 8 out of 10. I then further supported my point by analyzing various clips of his interactions with women. For example, in this short five minute interaction, the girl that he was talking to frequently adjusted and brushed her hair. A total of six times in just five minutes. Here's another example. So I recently had a message conversation with some guy who wanted me to rate him out of 10. So he first asks me what he is out of 10. And I get back to him and I say he's a five. And after this, he gets a bit defensive. He tells me that I'm wrong. And he brings up that a girl actually told him he's an eight. So I respond and ask him, are you dating this girl then? And he tells me, oh no, she friends only. <laughs> yo, oh, yo, yo I, I gotta say, yo, wheat, rate us. Yeah, yeah, wheat. Yeah, yeah, please yeah, rate yeah, us out of ten. Rate, rate us. Yo, guys, rate us. I wanna know. Yeah, yeah. I don't know what you guys think. My hurt our feelings, bro. Bro, you feel better about ourselves as our girlfriends. Oh, you think I'm a chat, right? Your, your girlfriend just said you're ten. And some of you might be in the comments already saying, oh, well, maybe she didn't like his personality. Well, no, because if the girl didn't like his personality, then she wouldn't even want him as a friend. Why would anyone want a friend if they don't like their personality? Ooh. Bro. Yo, that, <laughs> that's true. That's pretty fast. That, that is. Oh my God, that's so true. No, 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 no. That is not true at all. I don't like a personality does not mean that I don't like a personality. I mean, I don't like a personality means that I don't like a good dating partner. No, 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 no. What he's saying is that if a girl says I don't like a personality, I'm friend zoning you. Like, as in, like, our personality doesn't match, I'm friend zoning you. That's true. Like, if, if, if your personality doesn't match, why are you even friends with someone who doesn't match your personality? But that's not necessarily to do with your looks. That has to do with the package. When you tell the guy you're 8 out of 10, but I'm friend zoning you, it's a little bit strange. If she says you're 8 out of 10 and you're really attractive, she was honest about it, and then she friends you as long as you up to her. I've met plenty of girls who have met very objectively attractive men and said he's 8 out of 10, but he's not my type, and I'm a friend on him. Okay, sure. So you're saying it's just a type thing, but you can still be 8 out of 10? Yeah, of course you can. You can still be 8 out of 10. Yes, yes, but- I feel like those are anomalies. Is it because the girl is in a relationship already? No, no, I mean, she just looks at him as a more of a friend kind of guy, because their personalities don't fit. I don't think there's but, any, but, any possibility a girl can look at a very hot guy who's confident, and annoying, but she's still fuck him. It's a lack of confidence that has to do with it. It never has to be like his personality doesn't hundred percent match. It doesn't make any sure. sense. But I know some of those girls, right? Some of those girls that like have friends of hot guys and whatever, and then they don't want to date. But it's not because his personality. It's like it's because like they don't find him affable. Yeah, they don't find sexually attractive. That's the point. It's like when you rate someone eight out of ten, you're taking that into account. You can't rate someone just eight out of ten just on look as a girl. The only difference between boyfriend and friend is physical attraction. This is facts! How this can it not facts, be true? Facts. The only difference between a boyfriend and a friend is physical this attraction. Is, this is facts. To me, it's facts. The only difference between a boyfriend and a friend is it's physical. It's not. It definitely is not the case because I have met girls who at first were physically attracted to me yeah. and then when started hanging out, she was like, oh shit, actually he's not my type. And then we became friends though. It doesn't mean we became friends. My point being is, after that point, she's not no longer physically attracted to you. That statement doesn't hold anymore. No, she, she can still say I'm objectively whatever I am. I'm not talking about objective. To that girl, if you're a 5 out of 10, that's what stops you from being her boyfriend. No, 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 no. If I ask a girl, what would you mean on an on on attractiveness level? Like a physical attractive. She say, oh, I think you're like, you're a pretty attractive guy. You're probably like eight out of 10. If you say, oh, with personality and stuff, probably five out of 10. That's a totally valid thing for a girl to say. Then she's not no longer physically attracted to you. If in my case, I see a girl that's yeah, objectively but I can still nine out of 10. Yeah. And then I look at her and she has a bad, person bad personality. I'm no longer physically attracted to her. Yeah, but she can still say I'm objectively an eight out of 10. Huh? I guess we can all objectively think that a girl is attractive, but what's stopping you from dating that girl is you don't find her attractive. And the fair point he makes is that if you don't find someone's personality attractive, are you really friends with them? I think you're misinterpreting what this scenario could be. I'm, I'm interpreting this scenario as like in a friend group. You stupid. 
She just friend zoned him. A girl it was already weird. Oh, she's eight to ten, but he's not my type. I think that is a totally valid thing to happen. If a woman tells you that you're attractive, but is not willing to date you, such as the example I just gave here, then in plain and simple terms, she's lying. I can't agree. Ooh, I can't agree, bro. I can't agree. After the examples I just gave you, if you're still confused on how attractive you really are, you're constantly hearing numbers that vary wildly, and you finally want to hear the God's honest truth, then you can get a personal rating from myself. As of this week, I have started Fiverr. This guy's a genius. I feel like we should do it for jokes. Yo, if this video gets 10k likes, we'll yeah, get a face yeah, announcement yeah. from this guy. Yo, yo, 5k likes, man. All right, guys, and let us know in the comments what you guys think. Rate yeah. us and right. tell us if you stick with up five yeah. army or yeah. bad. Yeah. Yeah. All right, guys, I can watch today, guys. All right, guys, click here to watch our most recent video and click here to watch the video that you think you'll like.